Okay, so, um, well, at 5, which I should be going to sleep for, but at 5, we're supposed to be getting up to go to Black Friday. Um, I plan on talking to my mom and possibly having to argue with my sister, but um, talking to my mom calmly without having a huge outburst at Denny's tomorrow morning about the whole concept of I do what I like. <clears throat> and if my sister gets in the way, then I have something for her. Um, okay, so basically, um, I'm kind of wanting to call it quits on speaking, because with the reputation, I'm not able to do a lot of things. And I've also caught myself crying because of it. I do enjoy speaking. I love it. But if me expressing myself is going to change people's opinions about me. I mean, I'm still the same person. I'm still born with HIV. I'm still young. I still love talking about it. Um, me expecting myself should have nothing to do with your, you know, um, impression of me. So, yeah. But, um, you know, some people it does. It does. But, I mean, I just think some things go a bit deeper. So, um, any pictures that I have of me with my piercings and stuff, um, people will not know, at least that, people will not know that, um, I have them. Uh, until I sit here and come there and they're like, oh, you know, and I think at the beginning of my speech, I should make a recognition to my piercings and um, say it's not the outside, it's the inside and things like that. Um, because I think that people do judge you by your outsides and I've found a lot of people that have been judged by their outsides without any piercings or anything. Um, still have a very beautiful inside, and um, that means more. And a lot of people uh, lose a lot of good things that they could have had based off of the outward impression. So um, I plan on talking to my mom about the whole I do what I like thing, and you know, you call me grown, instead of calling me grown, just say, hey, you're old enough to know, or you're old enough to, da da da. You know? Don't sit here and say I'm grown. Otherwise, I think, hey, okay, I'm grown, so why not? You call me grown, so why not? You know? And, um, just things like that. Um, I know this summer a lot of people will have a lot of questions for me, a lot of different reactions. Um, one lady, Miss Shannon. I know when I come to her camp, she will be wondering, whoa, what happened and why? You know, and I just really wouldn't mind sitting down with her and telling her, hey, um, I've been confined based off of my reputation for years, and I haven't been able to fully express myself as I truly am because I've had to, you know, be either professional one day and try to find out how to be normal on the other day. And, um, it's just been very restricting. And I feel like I'm ready to almost call, you know, quits on speaking because, um, if my reputation, uh, my reputation is just not something that I'm willing to, um, that I'm willing to box myself in for. I'm really not. Um, I'm glad that I speak on it. I'm glad that I've been speaking on it for about 10 years now. And um, it's been great while it lasted, but um, I really need to just be normal. And I understand where a lot of celebrities come off and people are like, I didn't know you were like that. Yeah, it's because of reputation. You can't do anything when you have one. So, yeah. <laughs>